Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Alex Kazora. I want to pick up on a topic Dave Bryan and I discussed towards the end of Monday's podcast. Go back and listen if you missed it. Sometimes I like to focus these takes on what's topical for the Steelers. Sometimes, though, I like to broaden out about the NFL and football in general. Today's the latter. Why does the third quarterback have to be inactive on game day? This came up once Kenny Pickett exited Sunday's game against Baltimore, leaving Mitch Trubisky as the only quarterback dressed, and uh uh-oh, tight end Zach Gentry as the emergency backup. Mason Rudolph was there on the sideline, but as the third quarterback, he wasn't active. Now, it used to be the third quarterback could play in emergency situations. If both the starter and number two were hurt, the number three was allowed to enter the game. For some reason, some odd number of years ago, the league changed it. Now he's just plain inactive. Why the change? Why potentially put a team in a situation where they're going all Denver Broncos 2020 and having a non-quarterback play the position? I can already see that within the next five years, some team in the playoffs will lose both of their top two quarterbacks, rely on a running back to run wildcat or whatever, and the league is going to step in and make a change. Might as well just get ahead of it now. Dave had the right idea. Allow for every team to have a third quarterback available on game day solely in that emergency role. That should prevent any competitive balance concerns. Teams who keep three quarterbacks like the Steelers versus the quote-unquote modern teams who often keep only two. There has to be a smarter way than to roll with this sort of risk each season. Quirky as it might be, no one really wants to see a tight end play quarterback. The NFL has a half dozen ways to fix this. They can do it now, or they can do it later when it's headline news for all the wrong reasons. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Dave Bryan every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.